And good evening now. We begin tonight with an update on the riot outside the Columbia Police Department back at the end of May. Local authorities are now trying to identify additional people wanted in connection with that incident. News 19's Lauren Thomas has the details. Just go ahead and turn yourselves in. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott says the Sheriff's Department, along with the Columbia Police Department, are looking for six additional suspects involved in the riots on May 30th and 31st. It was an individual that stopped on the employee from the Vista that was uh, knocked out. Next one we're going to show was ca captured on surveillance cameras, painting the parking garage across from the Columbia Police Headquarters, but he also went through the city of Columbia and destroyed surveillance cameras. They're also looking for this man who can be seen throwing a brick and hitting a woman. What we're going to show this man here has chemicals, some type of spray chemicals that he sprays on the, the deputies that were there and a lot, um, Columbia police officers. The fifth man can be seen throwing a canister of tear gas towards law enforcement. Lot says officers were hit by that can. The final person we're going to show today is a, a female. That's her with her sign. She later threw a water bottle and hit an officer when she uh, was throwing a water bottle and assaulted an officer. 83 people have been arrested so far following the riots in Columbia at the end of May. There was a lot of damage done to the city of Columbia uh, on that Saturday, on May 29th. A lot of damage was done. I feel very confident that the people of Richland County and the city of Columbia is going to come through again and help us out. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at one crime sc Reporting in Richland County, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX.